Hi there, uh, this is uh, Dr. Ibrahim Kutay Yılmaz Şoban. So you can call me in a short way, Dr. IKY. Uh, on behalf of the IKY research group, I would like to talk about a little bit. Uh, so we are a kind of international research group uh, covering uh, initially uh, my university, Sakai University from Turkey and uh, University of California, Berkeley. Uh, our representative uh, is Dr. Steigman uh, from Mechanical Engineering Department. I am also in the Mechanical Engineering Department. Uh, we have got another professor from uh, Purdue University, Dr. Uh, Chavla. Uh, and one of our uh, colleagues from the University of Rhode Island, uh, Dr. Samantha Das, and a few more friends from ASU, Arizona State University, uh, Civil Engineering and Material and Design uh, Departments. So we try to study, uh, considering the uh, composites area, biomechanics, ballistics, impact and crash worthiness and some other stuff uh, combining together and uh, making some experimental studies and of course computational zone considering the uh, classical mechanics theories and uh, explicit dynamics uh, especially focused on vehicle crash worthiness, ballistics, explosions, uh, maybe some armor designs, penetration, perforation systems. Uh, for today, uh, we are going to talk about the uh, some uh, shooting uh, studies. So let me open uh, my presentation for the ICME 22 uh, so on mechanical engineering uh, we prepared this study by my undergraduate students and some of them are my graduate students Salih uh, Çağatay Batmaz Burak Yaşar uh, these guys uh, were my uh, undergraduate students but now they are uh, studying with me for their master thesis Ersin Burak Baydar and Sena they are also uh, working with me in these projects uh, so they are master of science students also uh, the name of our study is it's an experimental uh, experimental study uh, shape and material effects of the uh, projectiles on the shooting range uh, so let me start with our outline uh, initially we have got an introduction a brief introduction and then uh, the experimental setup will be introduced to you uh, this system uh, is using a gas applicable uh, barrel system so it's a kind of uh, gun but uh, the propulsion is a kind of simple air we can say something like that and we are going to talk about the experimental procedures of it and then uh, I can show you some experiments maybe a few of them and then uh, we can discuss about the results and we will be giving the conclusion finally let's say uh, this project or this document is talking about the external ballistics of the uh, system external ballistic means the projectile is 
outside of the barrel so we have got different systems in the ballistics for example terminal ballistics internal ballistics are different internal ballistics is uh, giving the idea inside of the barrel this one is outer ballistics and it means the projectile left the barrel and finally terminal ballistics the projectile hits the target so you can understand that after the uh, gas gun uh, start its system the projectile uh, sent by the air propulsion via barrel system and we try to examine the different shape and material uh, projectiles on the air so we try to understand the uh, trajectory of the uh, projectiles and the distance the range of the projectiles and uh, how the shape material affect the range of the projectiles so on this perspective if we try to start ballistics is the science of launching uh, as everybody know we can say uh, we focused on the flight dynamics not all of it because it's also considering the fluid dynamics we are not dealing especially in this one the fluid dynamics of the system but uh, we try to understand the range of or the uh, space the distance between the barrel and the location uh, of the stop point for the projectile we try to understand this one so uh, especially good understanding of terminal ballistics is a little bit out of our field because many people are trying to define the interaction between the projectile and the target this time we try to understand uh, the interaction between the air and projectile and its shape so we can find many studies uh, talking about the uh, deformation of course as i said about the uh, target or terminal ballistics and when you look at the outer ballistics uh, the main area the main focusing point is aerodynamics of the projectile on this perspective uh, we try to change the shapes of the projectile just a few type of projectiles and material types we have used 40 millimeter diameter projectile samples and we use two uh, materials one of them is polyethylene and the other one is beech wood so you can see in the uh, presentation one two three four uh, the second ones i'm talking about the uh, second beech wood and second polyethylene there is a gap inside of them so for the third one again fill filled and this one is filled one and third samples are filled fourth and second uh, samples are having a gap inside of it so we try to understand if we try to decrease the uh, weight of the projectile uh, creating a gap inside of it what will be changed uh, so uh, four beach and four polyethylene samples created but uh, we used a lead machine so uh, there are kind of differences not so much but uh, considering the wood and polyethylene a few different things happen uh, to propel the projectiles uh, because we are using a classical air compressor system uh, pumping inside of the tunnel uh, we don't use any gunpowder or any other system just the projectile propelled by the air let's say something like that and uh, we can test in many many different uh, 
conditions like uh, pressures like the angles and the length of the barrel etc etc we just focused on seven and eight bars uh, which were the only two uh, pressure systems that we can show in this uh, presentation but uh, of course we have tried many other pressures but uh, before seven bars starting from uh, zero to six you cannot see uh, any uh, propelling system the uh, projectile speed is so slow so and the considering the uh, secure area so we need to make these tests under reliable conditions we just choose seven and eight bars because of the security and other stuff and uh, we tried under 0 and 15 degrees uh, something like that and of course have safety procedures uh, were taken and uh, we try to be in a safe place uh, i also told to you about minor uh, different things uh, for the uh, shapes of the projectiles so let's continue with the uh, shapes and uh, parameters of the uh, projectiles and bullets, let's say. The first and third ones, uh, the conicals, and uh, the first and third ones for the uh, spherical nosed barrels. But uh, we can say that one, two, three, and four. The second one inside there is a gap again for the fourth one gap for the polyethylene samples just a little bit different from the conical base here this one is 25 uh, 35 and the other one is 40 but uh, all of the height is the same 70 i'm talking about this one also 70 and the gaps a little bit different this one is polyethylene this one is for beach and the experimental setup is something like that because uh, some of the students are coming from the undergrad uh, they try to prepare it by their uh, by their selves using a classical uh, compressor a maximum uh, pressure limit is eight bars so there is a manual valve manometer for checking the internal pressure of this system and then the barrel the barrel length is uh, not so much but it's approximately one and a half meter so uh, when you open the manual valve this is uh, not an expert system like opening opening the valve uh, in a very speed way so it's opening manually and we uh, sending the projectile in this manner so let's continue uh, to reducing the time we try to understand uh, the uh, projectile range in seven and eight bars and uh, what type of uh, material and shape of projectiles uh, can reach the maximum limits so i can continue uh, here for the five bar we have seen that uh, one bar is nothing three bar again and five bar also the projectile just dropping uh, in front of the barrel but as i said before we understood that uh, seven bar and eight bars are good enough for the pressure and uh, sending the projectile so because of that we tried seven and eight bars for the experiments let me give you the results here uh, for understanding what has happened we have tried uh, seven tests for each sample i'm talking about uh, four sample for polyethylene and each of them seven tests and beach wood again uh, again uh, seven samples for each and four samples we have seen that uh, for the polyethylene 
maximum range was I'm talking about the polyethylene the second sample which is a gap inside of a conical uh, nose we have seen that 8.59 meters uh, considering this secure area because we don't want to increase the pressure for creating a, a very dangerous things because of that we decrease the pressure so low and when we look at the beach sample we have seen that uh, mean range is 13 approximately and maximum range is 14.97 so let me uh, give you the one of our experimental uh, high-speed cam uh, video let me give you this one is talking about eight bars uh, and uh, parallel propelling system let me show it to you and when I come it come back again you can realize that the projectile is passing through the system but this was a high speed cam so it is a little bit different uh, you cannot understand the speed if we have got a, a control system behind so in this video we don't have but uh, we generally try to put some uh, some different backgrounds for uh, calculating the speed of the projectiles for uh, closing to final decisions let me uh, talk about it if, as of course we we can say that eight bar shooting is good enough and uh, for the third and fourth ones the uh, spherical nose ones are showed uh, verse systems uh, when you compare with the uh, conical nose of course because of that we have chosen the conical ones are much better and the other problem is when you create a gap inside of the uh, polyethylene samples it is creating starting from the eight bar a turbulence in the air so because of that this these uh, projectiles are not uh, applicable the full ones uh, showed better way in the air uh, for hitting a kind of target we didn't deal with the target but if we gonna uh, make some tests considering this so the uh, bullets or projectiles should be fulfilled in the regular manner for uh, the ballistic zone of course sometimes the uh, speeds are considering but again the trajectory of the uh, projectiles are a little bit different and the momentum also will be increased when you use fulfilled uh, projectiles so the maximum uh, range we can say that 26.25 meters I'm talking about polyethylene which is uh, heavier than the uh, of course beach sample so this one is much better we can say and finally for the angled uh, angled uh, propulsion system so we throw them in an angle I can show you maybe one angled uh, angled system if you see this one is for beat sample and we throw the projectile with the 15 degrees angle when you increase the angle of course the uh, distance also increased and we can say that maximum range uh, was reached like 54.15 meters uh, considering the polyethylene fulfilled uh, projectile and uh, because the time is passing so fast uh, i would like to 
finalize my uh, presentation. If you have got any questions, uh, you can send us an email. I can uh, give you my email kyilmaz at uh, saka yar y a or let's say sakarya dot edu dot tr so thank you for everything thank you for listening have a good day